Hey Air Signs, it's Nicola. So this is your daily read. This will be for April the 29th, 2020. This is for Wednesday. April the 29th, 2020. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Rising, and Venus. Okay. What guidance do we have? Gemini. We have Angel of Clearing. It says your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. Okay. Let's see what messages we have for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Libra. We have Goddess of Knowledge. It says start to apply what you already know and trust your intuition. Okay. Y'all got a bunch of clamps and stuff in my head, so we rocking the wrap today. All right, so let's see what messages we have for Aquarius. All right. We have Goddess of Sacred Power. It says you are being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation. Okay, the underlying message we have is Goddess of Strength. It says stand up for what you believe and you will gain respect by holding your ground. So let's see what messages we have. Let's see what messages for guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Some of Five of Pentacles with the Six of Cups. So some of you guys, I feel like you could be out in the cold from a past situation. Okay. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I was going to say Sun, Moon, Rising, and Situations. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, This is for April the 29th, 2020. Messages, guidance for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First is for Wednesday, April 29, 2020. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April 29, 2020. Sun card under here. Could be dealing with the Leo. I feel like for a lot of you guys, Sun with the Seven of Pentacles, you could realize that you're at a temporary pause in action right now you could realize that either you've set some seeds and you're waiting for them to come and to have, to have wands here you could be at a crossroads about something so you could have set some seeds into a situation and you're realizing that maybe nothing is going to grow from this y'all excuse my nails i got paint dye stuff on my hands i got coloring on my hands i was doing some painting earlier all right so with the devil card here i do feel like for a lot of you guys you could have been dealing with a karmic situation or a lag situation you could be dealing with a capricorn there moon card here this is about your fears so some of you guys i feel like i said yesterday you need to make up your mind and i feel like you're in the space of making up your mind with the eight of cups here but you got some fear you're at a crossroads because you fear making a decision here a temperance here it's time for you to make a decision some of you guys it's time to face your fears here you got to make your mind up it's like the clock is ticking tick tock tick tock god damn it all right hey we got the two of wands here. I bet Kurt, y'all. Why is this two of wands here? We have the still two of wands. Um, five of cups here with the two of wands. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're in the space of feeling some regret at a crossroads here, maybe needing to make a decision. I feel like you're on a like you're at a crossroads. You need to choose your path. I feel like from what I told you yesterday and from what I'm seeing today, you do need to make up your mind. But a lot of you guys, you're really in a space of having some negative or fear-based thoughts. You're really in a space of second-guessing yourself out of fear. Ace of Swords here, you know the truth, you have clarity. But the fear of making this decision of whether or not you're going to make a good or a bad decision, Two of Cups and the Lover's Card. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is what's holding you back. This could also be dealing with a relationship. Five plus two, seven cups that you're confused about. Six cups that I've seen underneath there. It could be clear that you're needing to leave something in the past in the past. But for a lot of you guys, there's a lot of fear that's associated with leaving that in the past. So we have devil card here. My hands are ridiculous. <laughs> what messages? All right. Eight of cups in reverse. Some of you guys fear walking away from this situation. So... I feel like now for a lot of you guys, either you're dealing with someone that is walking away from you and that's a fear. So some of you guys could have fear that someone is going to make a decision, eight of cups, uh, judgment here to walk away from you. 
So you're really trying to control the situation. You're trying to control the timeline is what it looks like. Emperor with the temperance here. Some of you guys, I feel like this divine timing, you know, or you're seeing clearly that whatever was of the past is no longer. So for a lot of you guys, either you're in the space of needing to walk away from a situation that has ended, or you're having fear about someone walking away and it's putting you at a crossroads because you don't want to let go of whatever this is. Moon card here, you could be in the dark about some things, could be needing to face your fears. Some of you guys are searching for some clarity. You're searching for some light, but I feel like you found that. Sun card here, if you're searching for the light, Moon card means that you're searching for the light. Could be dealing with the Pisces as well. But if you're searching for the light, sun card here, you found the light. But for a lot of you guys, seven of wands, seven of swords, you're resisting it. Resisting the truth, resisting clarity, really wanting to be in the dark out of fear. It's really time for you to, to let go of your fears. You need to face your fears so that you can move forward. Sun card here, I already told you, you got the clarity you need. Um, with the judgment here, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going through an awakening, but what you're waking up to may be a little too much for you to handle at the moment so we got the eight of cups here six of cups walking away from a past situation this could have something to do with children a karmic past situation something that has blocked your path here six of cups here devil card here with the two of wands some of you guys are walking away from a situation in the past that was not in good vibration you could be in a space of gaining your independence from that I feel like you're really needing to balance out your heart and your mind. But temperance here, Eight of Swords, I feel like the reason why you feel restricted is because for a lot of you guys, this has to do with your pride. You may feel like you're losing. You may feel like you're in a space of being made a fool because someone is leaving you, someone from the past. Or you may be in a space of not wanting to let go of something because you feel like, you know, someone's going to have something negative to say. Fuck them folks, man. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, either this has to do with pride or you're really interfering or you're really allowing your thoughts to interfere with you being able to move forward. High priest is here. You need to trust your own intuition. You know that it's time to create some change. You know that a cycle in your life has completed. So for a lot of you guys, you really need to find your motivation or your strength to face your fears here and search for more walk toward true happiness for yourself the eight of cups here eight of cups always represents on the path to more on the path to happiness on the path to true sanity or true you know emotional fulfillment but for a lot of you guys because you're having to walk away from whatever this is it's almost like you're fearing letting go of what you have in order to gain something more you don't sell you continue to move forward. You continue to evolve. A lot of, I know, and I'm, I'm going to be real with you. A lot of people always want to evolve spiritually. But it, to evolve spiritually, you have to also evolve physically. Not saying like growing in size. But I mean, when your energy grows, you have to basically knock room away from your life. Other energies, other people in order for you to grow. So for some of you guys, you have someone in your energy that is blocking your growth, that is blocking you from being able to evolve because they're not evolved to the level that you're about to evolve to or you're in the process of evolving to. You know that it's time for you to cut, you know, cut away some extensions but for a lot of you guys these extensions may have to do with something from your past someone from your past it could also have to do with you know a relationship that you've been in and you're not ready or you feel as though you're not ready but you are you it's becoming clear that you're having to leave something in the past in the past in order for you to move toward happiness in order for you to move toward vitality for yourself so you really need to face your fears you need to face your ego and let go um, fuck how anybody else fuck what anybody else got to say about it fuck how anybody else feel about it this is your life okay this we're, we're not here to please nobody we're here for spiritual perfection so that's what you should be shooting for and with spiritual protection comes the happiness that you're desiring so let's see what messages we have this is for my air signs Gemini Libra and Aquarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus okay we got Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, moving forward. What guidance do we have for Gemini? All right, Gemini, we got beauty. So some of you guys, I feel like right now you're about to see some beauty or you're really needing to see the beauty within. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're about to be assured in a beautiful way. So something may, you know, be presented to you. All right. What, what messages do we have for Libra? Him, Libra. We got communication and past. So, Libra, some of you guys are communicating. I told you. Some of you guys are communicating with a past person or with someone from your past. 
you're being shown here you, you've been given assurance you're being shown here that it's time for you to move forward so some of you guys need to move forward all right Aquarius we got radical acceptance I feel like we got this yesterday but I'm not sure right now you're needing to really accept something in your life this is about radically accepting something in your life um adapting as well we got miracles underneath here so i feel like as sure as you face your fears face your ego there'll be some miracles that are going to be pouring in so right now is the time like the clock is ticking you got to do what you got to do air signs this is all i have until next time